Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I came up with six concealed carry myths, and they are just that, myths. Because there have been so many more people that are concealed and carrying throughout the country, the number has completely increased, and we need to get it straight of what exactly is the truth and what exactly is the myth. Now, I know there are many more than this, and I look forward to your comments of what you think is a concealed carry myth, but here are my six, so let's go. Myth number one, target shooting is training. Yeah, it's good to shoot small groups, in a range when you're just target shooting and plink plink and shooting like that that that's good but that's really not considered training we're talking concealed carry myth shooting under stress if your range allows try to shoot while you're moving see what the difference is you know people get so caught up into shooting small groups but that's really not what it's all about you know here's what you want you want center of mass and you may have to do that under different types of situations. Try doing 10 push-ups and stand up and shoot. You know, that, that's a little, little different. Gives you a little different perspective. Myth number two, and this is a favorite of the anti-gunners. More concealed carry people mean more trouble. Nothing's further from the truth. You know, when you decide to conceal carry, you are taking on a huge responsibility. We should never take that lightly. The anti-gunners like to think, oh, it's going to be like the Wild Wild West. People running around, poop, poop. You know, that, that's completely false. You know, the, the responsibility is amazing, and so if anything, it is not irresponsible, responsible, and causes less problems. I tell you what, one of you anti-gunners, you're out there in a restaurant with your family and some guy decides he's going to act stupid, you're going to hope and pray that a concealed carry permit person is there, a good guy with a gun to help solve your problem. Myth number three, concealed carry people only carry when they feel they need to, like if they're in a bad area. That is just complete ignorance. If you think like that, you know, I'm only carrying when I am in a bad area. Other than that, I'll take care of my business. You know, you must be so smart that you can predict your own crimes. You can predict your own attack. Give me a break. You must be a detective. You know, you could be anywhere in a public area and there could be five to ten people, maybe more, who are concealed carrying and you have no idea. You need to carry all the time. That's the whole measure of it. You know, are you serious about this? Are you going to be serious about protecting yourself and your family if a bad thing happens. That's what it's all about. Myth number four, women should only carry 22s because of the low recoil and easier handling. <laughs> you sexist, chauvinist pig. Don't be short-sighted. I see women all the time carrying in higher caliber handguns because you know why? They can handle it. If they've trained, they can handle it just as well as anybody else. So, you know, don't show, uh, sell women short. They can carry higher calibers do just fine with it and protect themselves, especially at home. You know, they, they, they need to practice just like anybody else. Now, that's not to say that beginners should not practice with 22s. I think that's a good idea. But Myth number five, empty chambers are happy chambers. Let's get a visual on this. You tell me what's faster. Ready? That's the first one. Had an empty chamber. Second. Which one would you prefer... If a guy was coming at you with a knife at full speed, let's take a look. Clearly a loaded chamber is the way to go on this one. It's not even close. The key is to get a good quality holster to be as safe as you can and to know your firearm inside and out and be responsible. That's the key. And if that happens, then a loaded chamber is irrelevant. Myth number six and a favorite of the anti-gunners. People who carry guns are more likely to get into a fight. What a stupid way of thinking that is, and these people really need to know better. People who conceal carry firearms, or even open carry for that much, we learn avoidance and self-control. It's extremely important. So actually the opposite is true. If you carry a gun, you are less likely to get into a fight or an altercation. Doesn't make you any tougher, doesn't make you any stronger, doesn't make you any more powerful. You actually are putting yourself at greater risk of persecution Responsibility, self-control, avoidance, and training. Now that's the truth. So there you have it, friends. There are six concealed carry myths that need to be dispelled. I know there are many more. I look forward to your comments on what you consider a concealed carry myth. And maybe we can make a part two to this video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.